and uh, this waitress comes over the table and she goes, can I top you off? And I go, yeah, take your top off. I mean, get on top. I mean, get the top, 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 top of the morning. The day didn't go so well. I think she thought that I secretly wanted to bang the waitress, but I think being bad at dating stems from an early age, you know? Anybody else grow up playing this game called Seven Minutes of Heaven? Anybody play this game? Anybody? Yeah? Yeah, we're like seven minutes of hell, dude. The first time I played this game, I walked in the closet. She goes, I'm not going to kiss you. I go, what? Can I at least see a titty, a nipple, something? She just goes, you can watch me put on Megan's clothes. She just put on more clothes on top of her clothes, guys. It was the exact opposite of what heaven would be like for every guy. And I just had to fucking sit there, dude. Seven minutes of hell. Thank you. Talk about heaven and hell and shit. I uh, I do pray. I do pray. I do pray to God. But instead of getting on my knees and saying, "Dear God," I've just been getting on my knees and been going, "My God." <laughs> um. Cool. Uh. Guys, R.I.P. O.J. Simpson. <laughs> you know. 13,378 yards, 76 touchdowns, one most valuable player, won his wife's head. I mean, come on, what else could you ask from a running back, guys? Give it up for your host. You guys have been awesome. Woo! Yes! Hey, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, I was wondering if we were going to get more OJ material. I mean, come on, it's... Uh, it is what it is, but uh, yeah, give it up for one more time for a deal. Okay, everybody. Hilarious. I wrote a line every day for a year. This is today's line, April 15th. Probably soft pictures of your extra childhood. Ooh. What does that mean? Exactly. Show me. It's in my book. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, I'll show you, I'll show you. Hey, it's a, it's it's okay. It's it's literature, okay? We're li we're teaching about literature. That's what I meant. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. See, you get your mind out of the gutter, it's highbrow. I said show me the Amazon link. There, she wants the ISBN, okay? She wants the uh, the QR. So checking reference. Exactly, exactly. The Library of Congress number. The MLA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So we got the amazing Ramsey Hernandez. We have Michael coming up. This guy's hilarious. Give it up for the great Joe yeah. Levy. Yeah. Woo! Yes. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Woo. Hey, what's up, folks? All right. I've had a long night, but I'll try to play you guys, make you guys smile a little bit, you know? Make you guys laugh. I'll try to give you guys a show, baby. I'll try to give you guys a show. That was beautiful. I, I got a couple things about OJ. <laughs> I want to mention. I think he's lived a great life, man. He has a beautiful life, man. He was a running back. He was involved in a court trial. Only thing he never did, if you ask him, was a find the real killer. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of. I like the thing that OJ is up in like hell with Aaron Hernandez, you know. And he's like, hey, I'm here to a murderer, not because I'm gay, you know. Doing <laughs> things. Aaron Hernandez was a gay uh, murderer, but you know, it's gonna be here, folks. Uh, I'm 23 years old, so my parents still live with me. And I grew with very uh, strict parents. I'm like those disrespectful people right there. But um, like my, my dad did not only watch wrestling on TV because he thought it was too violent. Which is crazy, because anytime he saw me watching it, he just beat the shit out of me. I was like, yo, this wrestling is fake. You don't need the ladder, man. And then the next, you know, it's crazy because then I joined the wrestling team in high school and they came to every single match. I said, yo, so you can watch this shit, but I can't? Uh, I was actually 106 pounds, man. You ever see two kids 106 pounds wrestling? It was like two sticks trying to start a fire. It's crazy. Uh, I was better, I was good at wrestling, I was bad at debating though. Uh, I tried for the debate team once, and the, the coach told me I was the worst debater he ever heard. <laughs> and I was so bad at debating, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I was like, me? Nah, come on. You're kidding, bro, I'm amazing. What is this, opposite day? 
You're tripping, bro. Nah, I'm sick. Ian, you're a whack, my guy. And I'm just so shit at the baby. Um, you know, I love black love, but you guys are really annoying me. I gotta say. Um, you know, I'm all for it, but it's really getting on my, my nerves. Um, but, you know, go off, queen. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's late. Um, it's, uh, I'm happy to be here, man. My sister had a baby recently. I'm very happy about that. I'm, uh, I'm an uncle now. I'm an uncle. And I love a baby because he's fat. And uh, I love a fat baby. Fat babies are the best. Because I dropped this guy last week, and he just bounced back up. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's sick, bro. It was great. I saw my sister breastfeeding. It was like she was pumping air into a basketball. It's like, yo, this is great. Uh, that's pretty funny, actually. Uh, it's pretty good, man. Pumping air into a basketball. Um, so she, so she's married a fat guy, right? And there's a wedding pictures on the fridge. You know what weird it is? That like a fat guy on your fridge. Is that a picture of a fat guy on my fridge? It's like a warning label on the box of cigarettes. You know, like the black lung and shit. Should have warned you not to smoke. Uh, I think food is interesting, though. Um, I was reading an article. There's this ancient Indian tradition where after you die, your family eats you alive, you know? We're not alive, but they eat you. And uh, that can never work in my family because we would spend the entire time just arguing over who gets the drumstick. <laughs> like, I want it, no, I want it, no, I want it, you know? Because uh, how do you decide who gets to eat which part of the body? What, do you put that shit in the wheel, you know? That'd be crazy. Like, to my house, I leave it to my beloved wife for taking care of me for all these years. Now, I ask for my testicles. That goes to my son, you know? I was eating my dad's balls and shit. I'm like, yo, if only he was this tender while he was alive. No? I think that could be it, though, to eat your relative after they die, because everyone's like, oh, I wish I had one more moment with them. It's like, yo, yeah, one more moment, you'll have a week of leftovers. I mean, if that's not good, I don't know what is. You'll be shitting that guy out all week. I mean, that's a, that's a real, that's how you really stay with someone, baby. That's very really good. Uh, uh, this is great. Adio likes it. He's my one fan. That's uh, that's good, man. He's a fan of mine. Some people like this shit. Matt likes me sometimes. I know. A little off right now, but um, you know, it's it's a it's a pleasure to be here, man. Um, Danny found one. Okay, I'll, I'll stick to the joke, man. Uh, so I got a lady right now, and I'm, she's too positive for me, cause I'm just a miserable guy. And she'll call me like, "Hey, how you doing?" It's not now, guy. You know, I see her, so she's too positive for me. I can't fucking take it, which is great. You know, keeps keeps me in check and shit. Um, but it's weird because, like, uh, when she was doing the crossword puzzle, she called me up and said, like, hey, I'm doing the crossword puzzle. Don't say a word. And so you called me up, tell me to shut the fuck up. And, she like, and then I started talking, and she hung up on And I hung up on her. She's like, why did you hang up? I'm like, you told me not to fucking talk. I don't know what you want from me. Um... I used to, back in my day, I used to go with a lot of older women, back when I could, you know. And uh, it was very, I like that, man, because, like, the fucking older lady, all you gotta do is look like someone from their childhood. <laughs> Bro, I used to get, like, JFK Jr. pussy. Like, I don't even, I don't know who that is, but it's great, because, you know, just like JFK Jr., I'd go down on them, and, um, all right, that's for the history buffs. Thank you guys, have a good night. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. And for Matt Proctor, best host with Hell yeah. Hilarious. Give it up for Joe Levy. I don't know how he does it. He's got great, great jokes. He had OJ jokes. He had, oh my God. It was all covered there. Give it up. Give it up one more time for Joe Levy. All right. We have Michael on deck. We have Danny Fallon coming up. Let's get Ramsey Hernandez up, everybody. Give it up for the hilarious. Yeah, baby. Close it out. We're closing it out. We're going to put left the ring. Yay. Yay. We're all happy to be here. Um, I, uh, I lost my voice at a, at a Bad Bunny concert. Um, it's cool. I, um, I'm, I'm six months sober off of uh, Latino women, and I feel amazing. Because uh, last time I went to a Bad Bunny concert, my girlfriend, she came with me, and she was just like, Yo, how does it feel to know you have the baddest bitch here? I was like, babe, how does it feel to know that you're fucking blind, you know? Like, it's like... <laughs> 
That's crazy. He really what? He really liked yeah, I, I, I'm really like that, bro. <laughs> and your best work is a light pack, bro. Nah, um, what the fuck? Um, I, I, be, I this is gonna sound crazy, but I, I've been, I've been doing stand up a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, he really liked that. Um, mad bricked up right now. Yeah. <laughs> now, I've been doing stand up for a while, so like uh, my girlfriend, she used to come up to me and she, when she would get angry, she'd just be like, "Babe, I just think it's funny," and I'd be like, "That's not funny at all." You know, like if I did that on stage, like you know, it's mad funny. I didn't take out the trash yesterday. That shit wouldn't be funny at all. You know? Just be like, "What the fuck?" Damn. Um. Is, uh, I um I don't I don't I don't smoke weed because I, I get panic attacks. Um, and it's kind of I, I get a lot of my friends. will tell me stories like, "Oh, you ever get so high you go to the refrigerator and then you're like, you you know?" I'm like, "Nah, dog. You ever get so high you're like, nah, this shit should be illegal. Like, what were we thinking? You know? Like, how long is my cousin in prison? Good. You know? <laughs> he deserves it probably. Um, nah, he does. Uh, <laughs> for other things. Um, like so one time I, I got really high and I started having a panic attack so I, I made myself a bubble bath and I started listening to Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> I just wanted to call up my local center like yo this weed made me gay I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> like, the worst part was that it wasn't even my house. Like my buddy was just knocking on the door like yo you good? I'm like I'm not. This is not <laughs> a very dark place right now. Um, I, just, I got I got back from Japan about uh, two weeks ago, and um, my first night in so Japan. <laughs> this guy got me mad burnt up right now. I don't know what that word means. I don't even know what that word means actually. I just been peppering around, but I don't know what that shit means at all. No. Nah. Uh, when I was in Japan, my first night in Japan, I got uh, molested by a toilet. I got there molested go. by... There you go, that's not crazy! <laughs> <laughs> this is just me and him right now. Uh, <laughs> yo, me and him, we gonna fuck later. Like, yeah. nah, I ain't down with that gay shit, bro. Don't break me up right now. No. As I was saying, I was molested by a toilet in Japan. Um, Cause it has like a bunch of buttons on it, but they're all in Japanese, so I wanted to go press the flush option. And instead I turned on the bidet from hell. I just started pummeling my asshole, and then I, I wanted it to stop desperately, so I just started like spamming buttons, and it just went even harder. It was like an angry Japanese toilet. He's like, I'm not done with you, you know? Like, yeah. It's a challenge. It's like a weird samurai toilet. And it was a Challenged me to war. I was just like, yo, you really think you're gonna fuck with my village right now? Like, mm. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, You guys like Chicago style pizza? Yeah. yeah. Kill yourself. Um, I was aggressive and alienated half for him. That's good. I um, I had Chicago style pizza for the first time and it was it was awful. It was it's like a soup and a, a bread thing. I thought it was called Chicago style pizza because it makes you want to go into the kitchen and shoot the person that made it. You're just like, yo, you made this, you know. <laughs> that's it, that's it, because there's a lot of violence there. I see what you did there. Yeah, you see what I did there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm He's not from Chicago, bro. Like, <laughs> hey, yo. I feel like a lot of people in here are going to watch. Uh, some disgusting pornography later. I don't know why I get that. I... What'd you say? That's a good read. That's a good read. I'm sorry, I'm being an asshole. That's my buddy. He he breaking me up right now. Um... I'm being if you stop making references, only we understand. <laughs> you're gonna alienate the, the guy with the good. You can do this very mindset. <laughs> I don't think I want to though. Like I'm not. That's psychotic. Um, I don't think I'm that person. I um I don't watch porn because I'm a man of God. And, uh, so. All 24. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's because I have a lot of Christian conservative values. Yeah, so. for the family. That's right. That's right. That's for the family. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, I don't. 
I don't watch porn because last time I got on Pornhub, I saw that they had a porn playlist feature. I was like, that's doing too much, you know? <laughs> just some dude alone who's just like this. This is my hype porn playlist. <laughs> I've curated this. Just sitting on the train listening to your hype porn playlist, like, fuck yeah. I can't wait to shake hands with Deborah today at work, you know? She's gonna... All right, guys. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go huckle my friend. And I'm gonna get to her. All right, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. You guys can do whatever you want, mate. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yay. I know they're not bringing back Christian conservative values. We get all types of amazing voices. Give it up for Ramsey Hernandez. Check him out, Ramsey. Randy Fish Sticks yeah. on Instagram, everybody. All right, we have Danny Fallon closing us out. Let's get Michael up to play some tunes for us. The great Michael, we're stoked that he's he came out. He's an awesome musician. Hell yeah. Does it plug in? Well, thank you, everybody who's stayed around to listen to play. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Hey there. It's a funny thing, you can never tune properly to the on stage. <laughs> Something else. None of you folks were alive. If you were, you're lying. 1973, The Faces. Ron Wood used to play with them. Denny Lane sang this song. It's called Ooh La La. Woo! It's a fucking great song. Yeah!
Motherfucker, you can't deal with my shit. All you gotta remember, it's not what the motherfucker says and does. Your life is determined by the choices you make after the fact. How you gonna react? Your pussy? <laughs> That's no woman, no cry. I said no, no. Woman, no cry. Oh, please, little darling, don't you shed no tear. No, woman, no cry. Woo! Yeah. You got space for one more? I'll give you a month of Um, 
it's up to the bartender, I mean. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Bartender says yes? Yeah. Sometimes I lay under your moon And I think I'm bleeding And then I say don't take me soon Cause I'm here for a reason Sometimes in my tears I try But I never let it get me down Cause when negativity surrounds Surrounds I know Cause all my life I've been waiting for I've been praying for For the people to say That we won't want to fight no more There'll be no more wars And our children will play One day Someday we'll all be free, proud to be. One day, one day, one day. Just give us that one day. Cause like when you toss a pebble, the lands in the pond. Ripple star. Folks will recognize. All people want to do is just be able to live their lives in peace. Give them a chance to see another way. One day. Give him a hard time. He's given everybody a hard time. Now it's his turn. Give it up for Danny Fallon, everybody. Closing yeah. it out. Closing yeah. it out here at the Sea Cruise, baby. Yeah. Woo. Won't you let me take you yeah. All right. Good to be here, huh? Woo. Good to be alive, right? Woo. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing here? Chasing the midnight sky? Yeah. Chasing our dreams? Woo. 
<coughs> oh. Have you guys, uh, do you guys know that people are still like really, really homophobic? Yeah. Are you aware of this? Yeah. It's crazy when you confront it in real life. I uh, work at this church in Brooklyn and uh, my co-worker today, he was just like, he was just like, he was having a meltdown. Like he just like, he's like, I just don't get it. I don't get how someone can be gay. And we were like explaining to him, he's like, you know, it's just like, uh, you know, it's just, just, you, know, you just don't just, just don't have sex with them, you know. Like I know Mark Norman said that, but you know, uh, but he started like doing push-ups to just prove. Like he was like, yeah, I got it. Like I don't even know. I mean, basically, this guy is gay, and he can't. I'm like you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. I don't even know why I came here. Uh, to be honest, good music, man. Good music. Way to way to be. Woo! I that was my first dream in life. I wanted to be a rock star. Yeah, put a little too much emphasis on the drug part. You know, you know how that goes, right? What can I tell you? What's what's going on with you, sir? Sir, you ever wrote a list of your ideal woman? Have you ever taken that suggestion? Not yet. No. Uh, now I will. No. They say that you're supposed to write out all the attributes that you want. Uh, I did it recently. The, the first thing on the list was fat ass. Because <laughs> if you're going to manifest, do it right, you know? I mean, I'm just not going to pretend anymore. I'm not going to pretend that some woman without a fat ass can keep me even mildly engaged. <laughs> it's not going to work out. Just because you have a cute, quirky, indie, rom-com vibe, and we can be temporarily infatuated by intellectual stimulation, it's not going to work long term. If you don't got a fat ass to back it up on me. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, Jason King? I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've, I've had the, ooh, this is butterflies, we're having fun. I'm going to break your heart. I'm not going to be able, a younger me wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be able to maintain an erection. Uh, a me now also wouldn't be able to maintain an erection. What is wrong with, dude, I just feel like, Older men, they just didn't have any problem with the ED. What is happening? Is it the porn? Guys, is it the porn? Is it the porn? Is that, is that why your generation, I bet you still get hard as a rock. I do. And you didn't watch porn of that variety. To the point where now I don't want to deal with relationships. Yeah. I will dabble. You'll dabble. But you can... Uh, What's your favorite type of porn? Uh, what I'm looking at that evening. Mm. <laughs> Spoken like a true gentleman. <laughs> Here's an old joke. I like MILF porn because I got unresolved mommy issues. So I like hooking up with MILFs because MILFs, they'll say things to me that my mom never said to me growing up. Like, hey, nice cock, kid. Or, I love you, Danny. No, 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 I'm just playing. My mom told me I have a nice cock. So my parents are getting divorced. Wow. God, I couldn't even cut anything on the transition. <laughs> Trying to do the transition yeah. joke. Trying to do the, the transition thing where you say something quirky and fun, and then you say something dark. Didn't even work, right? Was that humorous? It was do just you, real. It was you just feel, real. It was real. It was very real. Are your parents together? <laughs> Two together. Two. Two together? They're so much together, it's disgusting. PDA? None. None? No, they're just together. They're just sticking it out. They're doing that old-fashioned idea. They're just like, I'm going to stay with this person even if I fucking hate them. <laughs> I just don't I, don't, I don't have a good image of marriage. You know, my parents stayed together, and now they're finally getting divorced, and... Uh, just really didn't set me up for being like marriage. That looks like fun, you know. <laughs> that looks like something I want to do. My dad, man, I don't even know what to say about him. He just calls me. 
Does anyone else talk to their dad for an hour and a half on the phone? Yeah. Yeah. It's a long, it's a long time. <laughs> That's a long time. Yeah. It's like, and you know what it is? When someone can talk for an hour and a half, you know, in the beginning, I'm really, I'm in there. I'm fighting. I'm getting a couple, I'm finding ways to talk about my life. But after a while, you just lose, mo that person is a steamroller. <laughs> By the end, you're just like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You're cornered. I can't even, you're just thinking about how you can bring up that you have to get off the phone. Cause, and he did mushrooms recently, so it's even worse. I don't know how. Yeah. He's just on this inner child kick. Oh you gotta love the inner child, you know? <laughs> also, another thing, uh, these fancy restaurants are bullshit. Yeah. I went to a fancy restaurant with my older brother on Saturday. Okay, they play music, you can't have a good conversation. Also, fuck people who talk for half of the dinner about how crazy it is that we're even able to eat here. I don't care. It's not interesting, and I don't care. Fuck you. Oh, it's so crazy that we got in here. It's so crazy. You suck. You're the reason the world sucks. Fuck you. You know? Also, fuck finance. Fuck that yeah. as an entire institution. Yeah. What is that? It sucks. Woo! Right? Right, Matt Proctor? What are you doing? You don't do anything. You don't make the world a better place. You just shuffle money around and make more money. You could have done something with your mathematical abilities. You could have designed a speed train or something. I don't know. I don't know because I don't know math. But I know that's not what you're supposed to be doing with it. It's wrong. It's immorally wrong. Yeah. It's, it's fucked. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. God damn it everything, huh? And you can't kill yourself. You know? But sometimes you want to kill yourself. He's like, I'm not having a good time. But you stick, you stick it out. You're like, I think I'll have a good time at some point again. I have faith that I'll have a good day again. I'll meet that woman with the fat ass and the quirky indie rom-com vibe. I'm, I'm actually getting to the point in my life where I think maybe having children will fix me. I get it. I get why a man gets to a point where he's like, that's it. I'm going to have kids. <laughs> yeah. Like, I have, now I have fantasies where I'm like, I'll impregnate you. Oh, we'll start a family. That used to be so scary to me. Now I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I need purpose. I want something else. I don't want to be jealous of other comedians on Instagram. I want to <laughs> raise a child, okay? I don't want to swipe. Also, fuck dating apps, you know? <laughs> we gotta stop, all right? We gotta shut it down. We gotta approach women in the wild again, okay? Yes. We gotta follow yes. women around the Lower East Side. Oh, That's yeah. what we have to do. Woo. Woo. You, you see a woman, you, you learn her habits. You follow her around, okay? You figure out where her apartment is, and you don't say anything, you know? Listen, you're on the subway, you see a pretty girl, you don't get off on your stop. You go all the way to Coney Island, okay? You start a new life in Coney Island. That's, that's what we're doing, all 24. We're bringing back strong, conservative Christian values, okay? You have a homosexual thought, you repress it. You stuff it down, all right? I don't know. That's the problem with my generation. We don't have, there's no real need to have any real opinions about anything. Uh, you ever just like uh, like some someone posted recently about how um, they were like um, basically like the new conspiracy theory is that Jews invented pornography, what? and he was like, "Yo, could someone? You ever just like read? You ever just secretly kind of read like conspiracy theories just to feel a little better? You're like, I know this is wrong, but if this was true, it would make a lot of things make sense. You know what I'm saying?" Like, you ever just like, you know what I mean? You ever just like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna be racist, you know? You're at Dunkin' Donuts, you're like, no one speaks English here, I don't feel safe. Hey, what is this picture? I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, what am I saying? I'm saying, um, what am I saying? Sometimes you have, uh, you have bad thoughts. We gotta start being honest, we gotta start admitting that we're having, 
you know, not everyone is thinking perfect thoughts all the time, all right? Sometimes I have social anxiety. I go to the Dunkin' Donuts. The people in front of me, they're speaking a different language. They're having a good time. I feel like I'm imposing upon them. And they're just, oh, I'm going to deal with this white guy, you know? And I feel bad. And I feel sad. And, uh, like, one time I worked on a, a fucking Spanish soap opera. And I didn't speak English. And it made me feel, I was like, yeah, they should have built that wall, you know? Because I feel lonely for a second, so. All right, give it up for Matt Proctor, thank you. Legend. 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 Danny Fallon, everybody. Danny Fallon, Michael, everyone. It's beautiful, beautiful voices. Jason King, all right. Just real fast, this is Fish Eden. His glaze is unreal. He said, wet rope don't break, not piss rope in bar. Only the good die young, but I'm not that good. Mm. <coughs> you have to protect your finisher in this business, kid. Everybody knows your secrets. 15 minutes to brown rice, making food in the kitchen at 3 a.m. Can I eat it five days later? Or was it four? Now there's two ads. A sound of garbage trucks going by wire fences. My twin flame has fucked half of New York. Rhymes with lava. I usually go to the Whitney. I sounded like my dad and my grandma at the same time just then. I've done this twice already. Enjoy reliving nostalgia, says my brother Max. You've got the guts of a damn lion. Irises are deadly poisonous for cats. Ashley's roommate texts and throws away the triple bouquet she bought us for our sex anniversary. This is not that loud, and there's no one here. There's usually more excitement, but we love you guys. Thank you, Ramsey. Thank you, Danny Fallon. Thank you, Jason. You guys are the real ones. You guys are the fucking real ones. Moises, Jack, we love you. We'll be back next Saturday, more Poetry Month. There's five Mondays in National Poetry Month, everybody. This is number three. Use them well, because life is the way. We audition for God. Let us pray that we all get the job. Christian conservative values are in yes! for 24. Yes! 2024! You know what is in? Repressing your homosexuality. Yes! Stop it down! No, 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 no. Celebrate! Celebrate! Fucking. That's right. Like Ishtar, like Rogers and Clark, everybody. Wear it, say it loud. We're here, we are queer, we are not going fucking anywhere, okay? We've got the headset microphone. We've got Ishtar. We are gay for poetry. It's April, and everything is gay. Nature. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Dogs are smelling each other. You were great, I loved it. I thought there was a real breakthrough happening. Yeah.